Okay, so you are looking at steel cut oatmeal peanut butter cookies. Now, I had to swap out what should have been bananas. So I looked this up and you will not believe the most bizarre ingredient ever that I ever in the history of ever making a homemade cookie in my life that I ever substituted with. Now I'll talk to you about it in a minute. Good morning. Good morning. This is Jan from New York City. My channel name is Jan from New York City. Saves money. And I love, love, love helping people to keep some more of their own hard earned money. Well, I'm recording this on Saturday night. You'll be listening to this on Sunday morning. I cannot believe how I made this cookie. Well, it all started out with the concept that I had my steel cut oats. And I said, you know something? I want to see if I can actually make an oat cookie, oatmeal type cookie from the steel cut oats. Now, some people say it's impossible. Others provided a recipe. So I went over and found a recipe and I didn't have bananas. So I did have everything else. I had the steel cut oats. I had the peanut butter. Uh, it also required some chocolate chips and I did not have that. So I got very innovative. So I said, well, what am I going to do? I really want to try to do this. Make a long story short, as well, be a little bit of an investigator and take a look to see what do you do in the event that you're in the middle of a baking project and you don't have bananas? Are you sitting or standing? Hopefully you are sitting. You will not believe what the list uh, gave, gave a bunch of choices. And the choice that I chose was, ta-da, sitting or standing, canned beans. Hello. What? So, of course, I walked over to my handy-dandy stockpile, and I saw a, you know, regular size can, not huge. I don't remember the ounces, but like the small size, okay, of cannellini beans. I picked those because cannellini beans really, they kind of have like a neutral blank taste. I said, I must be crazy if I'm going to swap out bananas, cannellini beans for bananas. So it suggests, you know, in the recipe, swap out that you should puree them. Well, I took another double there. I did not puree them. I mushed them up hand way through my hand. That's it. You know, with a fork. I mashed them down with a fork. Not even a masher. <laughs> so I says, you know what, Janet, get creative. So I took those cannellini beans. I didn't even drain them because I understood from a viewer recently that the juices in like those beans act like a, a a rising agent like no eggs because there's no eggs in this recipe whatsoever. So I used about, I would say close to half a can of cannellini beans with those gooey, ooey juices that come in the can. So I would say that was about six to seven tablespoons. Just saying, just saying, I said, well, let's pretend they're bananas and I'm mushing them up, but they're not bananas. So they lack flavor. So what I decided to do, I just put in a couple of capfuls of that vanilla so I threw the vanilla in there and then I eyeballed it, just eyeballed it. So I can't give a measurement on it. I'd say about four to five tablespoons of cinnamon sugar combination. So I threw it in there and I, I, I mushed it all up. I added uh, two tablespoons of peanut butter to that mixture and one cup of the steel cut oats. And what you saw was the result. Now they come out like soft and chewy at 10 minutes at 350. And you should uh, spray your, you know, tray with nonstick. I use aluminum foil and nonstick spray. I think if I wanted them a little bit harder, what I could have done was maybe go another two minutes, 11, 11 to 12 minutes. But I stopped the oven at 10 minutes. Uh, they taste pretty good. They taste pretty good. Moral of the story. If you run out of bananas, you can actually use canned beans. I know. I know as the swap out. I guess it's like a texture moisture thing. And if you think about it, it kind of is that ooey gooey consistency when you uh, mash them down and you just flavor it up. Imagine that would have been like so good. So I didn't have the chocolate chips. I didn't use them. 
I just got creative. I took a basic recipe and it worked. It actually worked. I had to share this with you. Never in my life would have would I have ever thought of canned beans being a substitute of swap out for bananas. There was uh, there were other things on the list. I don't remember offhand. I think one of the choices for a banana ingredient swap out, I think, was yogurt. If I'm not mistaken, don't don't quote me on it, but I think so. You might want to do some investigating on your own to see. Well, hey, what do you do when you know run out of bananas for a recipe? There you go. Just thought I'd share. Also, please come back at 2 o'clock this afternoon. Steve Young, 74 Channel, uh, and I, we uh, chew the fat. We talk about saving money. 2 o'clock this afternoon on the Sunday afternoon chat. So if you have time, bring yourself a nice cup of tea or coffee or water. Just kick back and say, hey, this is my time today. I'm going to sit down for about 15 to 20 minutes and give a listen or a view because it's a video of our chat. All right. Wishing everybody an amazing, fantastic day. And I'm going to play this just for the heck of it because I like it. Mashed bananas or no mashed bananas. I still got to make really, really pretty good cookies. I have to say, get creative, experiment in the kitchen. And if you found value in this video, I'm going to ask everybody to do this. There you go. Take care of yourselves and your wonderful families. Have an amazing, fantastic day. Take good care now. Bye-bye.